Welcome to the video presented by Duranoid.com. Let's talk about we've got the stringlet on here. Stringlet. Um, we're talking about rejection here. Rejection. This is why men should never approach women. All right. Never approach women. Always wait for the woman to approach you. All right. We live in the post Me Too era. All right. Post Me Too era. Hashtag Me Too. What does that mean? It means any woman at any time can put up a fake rape claim, a fake sexual, any fake claim about you at any time, and you go to prison, and or your reputation's tarnished forever, and or you lose your job until the investigation's over, and or you lose a lot of money, a lot of face, all right? Men, you have to protect yourself against a crazy woman, and vice versa, women, you have to protect yourself against crazy guys. One of the best things you can do, what I always do, is the phone, you get put on, you know, voice record, you just have it on your thing, you hit voice record before you walk into the room or whatever, and you put that down on the table, in your pocket, in here, in your bike helmet, anywhere. You always record the interaction with any new man or woman. Right? You have to do that. If you don't do that, you're going to learn the hard way one day, unfortunately. The chances of that happening is very, very rare. But if it does happen and you're not prepared, damn, look out. All right. So that's that's one thing there. Now, this to carry on to the part of the video, this is why women have to approach men in the today's post-Me Too era. So if you're a woman looking for your man or you're keen on a man... And you're like, well, if he's interested, he'll hit me up. That That's true, used to be true. We're post me to error, okay? And unless you've been living under a rock, you know, or you're some inexperienced guy, experienced guys, the, get, the men women are attracted to are very well aware of what happened to Harvey Weinstein. All right? And various other f- men of fame who could get as much pussy as they wanted because they had money and clout and status. And these Hollywood actresses who said, oh, Harvey, yeah, let's, we can go out to the hotel room. I'm going to get a role in a, in a... Yes, Harvey, do whatever you want. And then later on, they're like, hang on, I can make some money from this? I can double dip? I got money in 1994 and now I can get money again in 2019? Cha-ching, cap me in. I didn't want to do that. Harvey forced himself onto me. And because Harvey didn't have any, any uh, proof... Then other women like, hang on, and then boom, 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 all these actresses who are just chasing money and fame in the 90s, and still today, narcissistic sociopaths, they all ganged up, and then it's like, if you've got 10 or 30 or 50 witnesses, it's game over, mate, it's game over, right? So it's just how it is, man, it's just how it is, it's just how it is, when you've got that much money and fame, and people can cash in on it. Then they're like, yeah, that happened, that, me too, that happened to me too, Where, where's my million dollars, where's my compensation, that happened to, me too, me too, man, me too, I want some money, me too. Meanwhile, in Africa, Ghana, or just anywhere in the world where legitimate victims are there, legitimate victims of rape and stuff, get zero attention, zero support, zero financial recourse, etc. You have these Hollywood starlets just destroying an era of like human communication. It's really disappointing. So women, you have to understand the men that you really are into, the confident men, the men who have options, you know, the men who have money, status and height, etc. And ascetics, the experienced men who have been around women a bit, we know that what can happen, all right? So you have to be the aggressors. You have to be the aggressors. If you stand there just like waiting for the guy to come to you, it might happen, but I guarantee you're going to miss out in the meantime. You're going to miss out. You're going to miss out 90% of the guys that you're into because they're going to be like, oh, she looks, I don't know, nut. I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for the, the girl over there who's showing me overt signals, like smiling and in, you know, sliding into my DMs and boom, boom, boom. And now with social media, we, we just wait for, girl, for girls to slide into our DMs. Right? That's just how it is. Like, how did I meet Natasha? How did I meet Tori? Even how did I meet Freely? Slid into my DMs. All right. Oh, you in Sydney? Come and hang out. Let's go meet up. Boom, boom, boom. Tori's like, oh, I, my bike's broken. I need it fixed. You got to slide into the DMs. Slide into the DMs. All right. If you don't feel confident enough to like approach on the street, cold approach as a girl, okay, 
But then well, you might not know the guy. So then that's it. That's see you later. Bye bye. Maybe you thought there was a bit of a connection, but you didn't say nothing, and you didn't give a strong IOI. So the guys just like walk past straight past. What's an IOI? Indicator of interest. Indicator of interest. You used to be back in the day. It used to be a hair curl like that. Like now it's post me to error. An indicator of interest is grabbing the guy's arm, saying, "Hey." You look familiar. Oh, what do I know you from? Wow, you, you work out. Just that's an indicator of interest. You know, like grabbing him by the arm, physically grabbing him by the arm. You know, and say, "Hey," you know, and straight away you know if he's keen or not. All right, you have to initiate because oh, that's assault, Harley. That's assault. Um, yes, it is, but no, it's not because no court in the world, <laughs> no judge will want to be uh, uh, victimized by his or her fellow judges. By saying, grabbing a man by the arm and pulling him in and talking to him is assault. If you do it to a woman, though, it's like, hey, you're a sexual creep. You, know, you just grabbed her by the arm and pulled her in and talked to her. Oh, you're my God. Let's put him in. Let's just bury him at the stake. Can't do it as a man. Even though women like it, some women do. It depends on the situation, time of month, ovulation, luteal phase, follicular phase, you know, blah, blah, blah. But a woman can do that. Women can get away with so much, and that's fine. This is what it is. It's not, it's a double standard. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm saying it is what it is. You know, it's like, the sun's great for my vitamin D, but if I don't wear a hat outside and I get my nose burnt, that's not good. So it's just, it is what it is. You can't fight it. You have to understand with it and work with it, or you will get burnt. You will get burnt. So, so women can be more aggressive. You know, you can be, women can be creepy. Oh, I'm going to go to the police station. Oh, what happened? Oh, I was at the supermarket and this, this, this attractive woman grabbed me by the, or this woman just grabbed me by the arm and pulled me in and started talking to me. Uh, yeah, mate. Right. You fucking pussy beat up. Yeah, so what what does what does what does the suspect look like, mate? Yeah, tell you. You really feel vilified, do you, mate? Now if it's a if it's a girl, she's oh some guy grabbed my arm and pulled me Oh my god, like are you okay? Like you what oh my god, it's so traumatic for you. You know, so it's just a double standard we have, man. Um and unfortunately real victims don't get taken seriously. Because you have these me too's out there who just, you know, abusing the system uh, and the genuine victims just don't get any voice it's weird how that works I uh, said so women you have to be more aggressive you have to be more aggressive slide us the DMs if you look at I'll use myself as an example if you look at the social media careers I've helped over the years men and women you know like Maddie Limburner she's got over 6 million subscribers now on YouTuber she stayed at my house in 2016 she's staying here in 2016 you know like she had like maybe 10 subscribers or whatever she reached out you got any tips, blah, 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 she stayed here for a bit, you know, high carb Hannah, these these girls out there just reached out, reached out, and same with the guys as well, guys just reached out, like Joey Carbstrong or Abdullah or James Aspie, all these people have helped out from day one on social media to get their cranking up, and they put in the work as well, but they reached out, they didn't fear rejection, they didn't say, oh, you know, Harley's busy, blah, 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 they reached out and said, hey, can you, blah, 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 got any advice or whatever, you know, and so you got to reach out, man. You know, you got to reach out. You got to be the woman. You have to be the aggressor. If you stand there, like, oh, waiting, 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 whew, life just passes you by. Do you know how many pretty women are out there on social media now? Hot, young, fit, tight-looking women with confidence. There's a lot out there. So if you're going to stand there and just be like expecting someone to come up to you, it might happen, man. But you got to be aggressive. You got to be aggressive towards men. You know, in the right ways. Men of experience, we appreciate aggressive women, stable women, but who are aggressive in pursuit and are transparent and just say it how it is versus play games and be like cat and mousing. It's like, I'm not going to cat and mouse with you because this could be a me too. See ya, you know? So you always, guys, you always have to record. Like, man, the, the amount of recordings I have on, you know, my uh, <laughs> clouds. You know, epic. Obviously, they're just for personal legal reasons. I'll never share those because they're private moments with people. Um, but it's insurance. You have to do that. And same with women as well. Like if you think, oh, I don't know, you know, what, what could happen? Then you record as well. Hit the voice record. It's illegal in most countries, but it's better than going to prison for a freight rape claim. And it's better than blah, 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 blah happening. You know, it's better than that. So this is what you got to do. And people aren't talking about this. It's not politically correct. Oh, you could turn right here. You can't say that. This is, the, this is the truth, man. This is the truth. If you have teenage sons or daughters, share this video with them. This is the absolute truth. 
Most people out there are great. Most people out there are fine. Most people out there are awesome. But there's a small percentage of people out there who are very damaged from whatever, and they're gonna they're gonna take it out on you. That's just how it is in life. All right. It does. It's no need to get depressed or get bitter or anxious or whatever. That's just the world we live in. Like you're gonna ride your bike out there, and most motorists are fine. Oh, cycling cool. Some motorists are not gonna kill you. You're gonna maybe you're gonna get a flat tire. Maybe you're gonna get a dog that's gonna bite your leg. <laughs> you go to the supermarket and you get your stuff. Most stores clerks are very friendly. You sometimes you're gonna get someone's bad attitude, and you're gonna be like, I don't want to shop here ever again. That's okay. You know, like there's plenty of other shops. Or just some people have bad days, man. You know, someone might do doing a keto diet. Don't take it personally. Right? Keto moments exist, uh, and they're bad moods. So just just understand human nature. A lot of people lose faith. You know. Oh, I approached someone and I got rejected. The girl laughed at me or the guy laughed at me. That's great. Give him a high five. Say thank you for being clear with, with, with your, uh, with how you feel. Great. That's, that's, like, I've never in my life, someone's come up to me because they want to shout out or root or a selfie or whatever. Never in my life have I afterwards thought, man, that person's really cringe. <laughs> You know, I know a lot of YouTube people, celebs or whatever you want to call us, would, would be like, not me. I appreciate people, I appreciate my audience, I appreciate my fans and my followers or whatever you want to call us. I appreciate people who are into what I'm into. You know, I genuinely care about cycling, fitness, health, vegan lifestyle, blah, 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 PEDs, whatever. I care about all these topics. They're, they're uh, close to my heart, you know, for various reasons. So I appreciate people who are into the same thing I am into. All right, so... But it's great. If you go to someone and they do reject you or make fun of you or whatever, that's great because you know that they're not that into you. And that's great. You know, It's better that they do that than lie and lead you on or trick you around or blah, 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 blah. You know? So it's, um yeah, I mean, I love this topic of relationships and communications and, and you know, and men, women will only want to be around you, you know, Everyone knows this. Every every experienced man knows this. Women will be around you as long as you can provide what they want you to provide. The relationship is over. That be a friendship or a pen pal or a friends with benefits or a wife or girl, whatever. That is over when you can no longer provide her the mood or the lifestyle or the sensations that she liked getting from you. Men are a bit different. I don't know how it works with men like that, but... That's just, women don't love you. Women, women will never, the only person who will probably love you close to that will be your mum. <laughs> women don't love you. They love how you can make them feel and what you can provide for them. All right? <laughs> that's just the truth. And that's okay. That's okay. Women are women. Men are men. And, and feminine men like that as well. A feminine man only loves you <laughs> for, as, for as long as you can provide for them or whatever. You know? But it's, just, it's so funny the guys I've had over the years have flipped on me. When I could no longer provide for them what they wanted, <laughs> and they're just like, do not this, do not that, da, 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 da. and I'm just like, you're so femme, man, and that's okay. But I'm like, wow, you're just you're basically a woman, you know, and that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, masculine men, we're different like that. Right? We we have a different way we express our love that it's more genuine and stable. I should say it's stable. It's not as conditional. It's just like, no, this is how it is. Boom, these are the feelings. They're not really going to change ever. Yeah, you know, I wish you were different, but this is this is my feelings. This is my base feelings. But feminine is just like, it's like storming one minute, dry the next, pouring a monsoon in the other. I hate you. I love you. I want to fuck you. Fuck off. You know, it's like it's just. If a guy does that, <laughs> he's a really feminine, flamboyant dude. But an alpha man, sigma man, you you can't do that. It's not expected of you, and you don't do that because it's not part of your identity. Oh. Um, it's just, yeah, generally, you know, generally when your testosterone is really low, you become all fucking, you know, cracky, cracky, cracky. You become like a woman. And that's okay. I'm just saying. These moods here. So it's understanding the hormones as well. But that's another topic. We're going a bit off topic here. You can't fear rejection. Well, you can fear rejection, but you'll just miss out in life. You will miss out in life. Ask yourself in any given moment when you want to talk to someone, but you're like, oh, what will I say? You know, just say hi. Just talk to them about their shoes or whatever. All right? If they like you or whatever, then they'll carry the conversation on. If they don't, they'll be like, okay, see you later. That's okay. That's okay. It's, you're allowed to talk to people. I'm sure a guy. 
Um, and you're allowed to say, no thanks, unless you're a guy. Because <laughs> if you reject a woman, oh man, and she's into you, damn, you better have a good lawyer, or you better have pressed voice record many a time. Anyway, that's the video. You know, I hope you had a bit of a laugh, but it's truth, insights. I didn't make the rules up. This is how it is. And uh, men and women were wired differently, and that's okay. But it's very important in life to understand the differences so you can go, ah, oh, cats and dogs, dogs and cats. You can't treat a dog like a cat. Well, sometimes you can, but you can't. You know what I mean? It's like 50 shades of grey, 10 shades of white, whatever. And men, when men understand that, their life around women and feminine men gets a lot, lot easier. Right? I, I see three types of people. Women, men, and feminine men. All right? And that's okay, whatever. You know, I'll see three types of people in terms of that, you know, that gender thing. And then I can sort of treat people how they want to be treated and I understand when they lash back or whatever. I'm like, okay, oh, I, I, I treated too harshly there. Boom, I'm oh, sorry, blah, 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 blah. And I can just dance around like a, you know, like a dog. You can run to a dog and chase it and it's like, it thinks it's a game. A cat will just jump over the fence and never see it again. Generally. See what I'm saying? You have to learn human behavior. And if you're dealing with a man, a feminine man or a woman you have to treat them differently you can't treat men like women and you can't treat women like men and you can't treat a man like a feminine man otherwise he's gonna be on the me too stuff as well that's the video got any questions let us down below